Going everyone, Darren here, aka Dr. Dev, and welcome to this week's devlog episode. It is currently Saturday the 1st of June, and as I mentioned in last week's video, I've been away on holiday with my family. I actually only got home this morning, but that will not deter me from cracking on with making this game. My fiance bought me a drawing tablet for my birthday, which I spent most of the day trying to learn to use so that I could finish up with the drawing of my demonic dog creature from last week. So yeah, I really sucked at using the drawing tablet, but within a few hours, I'd gotten the hang of it and managed to finish drawing this beast of a thing. Now that he's finished, I have to say he kinda looks like a hybrid between a hedgehog and a dog. Oh my god, he's a hedgehog. <laughs> It's crazy how much of a difference refining the lines and edges make to the drawing. I actually think I'll have to go back and touch up my player's graphics at some point now that I've started to get the hang of this. But for the time being, with the enemy's graphics complete, the next thing to do was to bring him into Unity. So I dragged his model prefab into the scene and created a prefab variant based off of it. Then it was time to test it out in-game and see how it looked. And I have to say, it actually looked pretty damn cool and ooh, yeah well, that's not quite right is it? It seemed we had an issue with the draw order, so I solved this by creating two sorting layers, one for the enemy and one for the player. I then ordered them such that the player's sprite always draws on top. But I will be changing this in the future so that the object that has the lowest Y value will actually draw on top. That way, as objects go behind and in front of other objects, their sprites will actually be drawn behind and in front of them respectively. This gives an intuitive impression of depth. But for now, it was fine as it was and with the sorting layer sorted out, I tested it to see if it worked and it looked like it did. There were no more weird drawing order issues and the player seems to always draw on top of the enemy. So that was a pretty decent chunk of work I could check into Azure DevOps and knock off my sprint list. Brilliant. It was starting to get fairly late and I was honestly just so tired from all of the traveling I've done, so I decided to head to bed and call it a day. Okay, I just woke up on a crappy, rainy Sunday afternoon, but that's okay because I develop games in my house, not outside in the rain. My goal for today is to create the enemy's idle animation, which isn't an overly time consuming process, but I also need to keep in mind that I need to create this video that you are literally watching right now, and that is an overly time consuming process, so it's time to get cracking. I went into Unity, created and named the animation, and started adding keyframes for the different body parts of the hedgehog. This took way longer to do than the player's idle animation which I guess makes sense since the hedgehog has four legs rather than two. After far longer than I would care to admit, this is what it looked like. There are some minor quirks to it that I'm not completely happy about, but all in all, I was honestly quite pleased with how it turned out. So with that done, it was time to check my changes into Azure DevOps and mark the associated task as complete. This was sadly all I had time for this week, but next week I plan to get this little guy animated while walking and maybe get started on some basic combat as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're not a subscriber to my channel already, then you should definitely subscribe now and hit the little bell button so that you can stay up to date with my latest devlog episodes. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch you next week.